Okay guys, our learning target for today is I can add three digit numbers up to a thousand using the partial sums or compensation strategy. So we're gonna be looking at two strategies today for addition with three digit numbers. And the first one we're gonna look at is partial sum. So remember that when we're learning these different strategies, you're gonna pick the one that kind of matches the problem that you're doing. So with partial sum, you're gonna to wanna to use this when you can see that there are parts of your two add-ins that would easily add together to give you more friendly numbers. So let's take 128 plus 262. When I'm looking at this, I can kind of see right off the top of my head that eight and two are gonna give me a 10. And so to make this problem easier to solve with friendly numbers, that's what I'm gonna to use to start this off is adding my ones place with my eight and my two. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this add-in the same, and I'm gonna take this add-in in parts to add it to the add-in that's going to go on this side. So I have 128, and here I'm just gonna use the two from the ones place. So now I have 128 plus two, and I know that's gonna give me 130. So I'm gonna bring this sum down, and that's gonna be my first add-in. And I know that I have 260 left to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the six and the three, because I know that's gonna give me nine in the tens place. So that's gonna end up being 130 plus 60, which is gonna give me 190. Now I'm gonna bring that sum down and use it to add the remainder of my problem which is two in the hundreds place, so 200. And I know that 100 plus 200 will give me 390. So for my sum for this problem is gonna be 390. And I took the second add-in and broke it into parts that were easier for me to solve in friendly numbers. So let's move down to our next example, which is 250 plus 458. So looking at this, the reason that I would choose partial sum as the strategy to solve this problem is because I know that this five in the tens place, so this 50 plus this five in the tens place, the second 50, that's gonna get me up to the next 100. So what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna keep um, the first add in 250 the same, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the 50 from the tens place to give myself 300. And again, I'm gonna move my new sum down because I've only added part of my second add-in. And I'm gonna think about what would be the easiest to solve next. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and take the four in the hundreds place, so 400, and add it to my 300 because those are pretty friendly numbers to solve. So 300 plus 400 would give me 700. Again, I'm gonna keep that sum. And I know that looking back up at my first add-in, all I have left to add is the eight in the ones place, which is just gonna be eight to give me 708 as my sum. Okay, so I broke that into parts to help me add it. That's the partial sum strategy. So the next strategy that I'm gonna look at is compensation. And this strategy works a little differently because we are gonna work to make our numbers friendlier before we ever start to solve them. So what's gonna happen in this strategy is that you're gonna take some from one add-in and give it to another add-in to help make those numbers easy to work with. So this strategy is used with mental math, so you're gonna do this work in your brain most of the time, but I wanna show you why it works. So what you can do here, is if I'm looking at these two numbers, these two add-ins, I'm thinking to myself, well, this would be easier to solve if this number um, had a zero in the ones place. And so to do that, I would wanna take three from 115 and give it to the 117 to make this a nice even 20. So all I have to do here is take three from 115, which would give me 112, and I'm gonna give it to the 117 to get 120. And that number, when I look at it together, I know that I'm gonna have two in the ones place. One plus two in the tens place is gonna give me three, and then one plus one is gonna give me 232. So my sum here is gonna be 232. Now the strategy is supposed to be done with mental math, but I want to show you just real quickly why this works, okay? So here I have drawn out our two um, add-ins, 100, 110, and five ones for 115, 100, 110, and seven ones for 117. So when I'm adding up this ones column, I'm gonna get the same number of ones if my five stays the same or if I give those numbers down here. So if I take these three ones and I move them down here, 
it's going to give me the same number of ones. So originally I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that number stays the same even if I add them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the number of ones in your ones column doesn't change. You're just moving around where they are to make the number easier to add in your brain when you're working on that mental math. So let's look at one more example. We're going to move down to 219 plus 411. And again, I'm kind of thinking this number right here would be easier to work with if there was a zero in the ones place and we had a nice even 220 to work with. So this time I'm going to take some from my second add-in and give it to my first. And to get up to 20, I just need to take one. So here I'm going to move one and that's gonna take 411 down to 410. If I take one away and give it to my 219, and I add that one, it's gonna give me 220. So now I have no, nothing in my ones place, zero and zero. Two plus one in my tens place is gonna give me three, and two plus four in my hundreds place is gonna give me six or 600. So here my sum is gonna be 630, okay? So remember, today our learning target was I can add three-digit numbers up to 1,000 using the partial sums or compensation strategy. And we looked at examples of both of those things just a moment ago. Now you'll try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.